you know, get ready, gotta <laughs> loosen up the muscles. Hey, Matt, who is this? I pinky promised, and he is back this week. I, I'm not used to this. Who's this redheaded stranger? I know, mysterious right? man. Can you introduce yourself, please? If uh, yeah, my name's Josh. This is my first time on the podcast in what seems in a like a month forever. and a half. <laughs> Tell me about it. Um, are you guys gonna run this next week? Um, no. no. Or are you taking the week off? Okay, I think we're, we're, we're going to try to record one. Okay, right. Put All one right. in the the books for when we're in Alaska, and then we're going to go live again on Wednesday the twenty seventh. The week after, basically. Yeah, I, I fly home Wednesday. I think you guys fly. Oh no. I fly home Tuesday. You guys fly home Monday. I think Monday. I fly yeah. home Monday. Yeah. Yep. So Wednesdays, Wednesday works for us. So everybody's got that information a minute into the podcast. Exactly. Yeah. yeah there right. You go. <laughs> uh, look, when Josh is back, there we run as a well-oiled machine. You right. would think, anyways. You know what happens when Josh is gone, right, Matt? Yep. Hit that's it. That's why. That's why. No calling. No waiting. There's no rules. Put your shirt back on. There's one rule. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> terrible. Yeah, that that's. Yeah. I figured you'd like that bumper, Josh. That that's something I like. The first week you you came and said, "Hey, I'm not going to make it." I was like, "Oh, I've got to make this." <laughs> oh boy, I I have to uh you know I have to I I skim the podcast just to make sure you know there's no yeah we we keep <laughs> no it crazy somewhere. stuff going on so no f bombs no that's right that's right I, I have to get in there and check. So, so yeah. let, let's let's get into the more important things. Josh, how you been? This is like the first time we've really talked in I know weeks. We we have been uh very busy, so it's been pretty much nonstop travel. We just getting got your miles in. Um, we are getting our miles in, both uh in the air here soon and in the car. You flying um, Delta or you, you uh well I'm flying <laughs> I'm flying Delta next week to Seattle, yes. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to say who we're flying on Thursday, yeah. but that that would probably um, give some things away. So don't do that. It would, but yeah, but we we've uh, we've been super busy doing a lot of different stuff. So that's why I haven't been here on the podcast. And you guys seem to be holding it together. So yeah, you know, hey, we're, we're trying. trying. Yeah, always. We positive. even had last week. We even had coffee with Gold Gal Getaways. Yeah, that 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 was a fun oh. one. We did the early morning live stream with the the wish. Oh, that's right, the christening or whatever. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. We expected a little bit more out of that. I, I did not. Um, well, I did not watch it because I think I told you guys a while you did, back that you didn't miss when much. they. Yeah. When, well, when they were going to start releasing stuff, I want to be totally surprised for when we get on the ship. So, <laughs> well, you know, I, not... that was my plan too. <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah. un- unfortunately, I broke my own rule like within the like first like 24 hours. 24 hours, 24 minutes, Matt. No, 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 no. It's uh, <laughs> like. There was three YouTubers that I uh, channels that I follow um, okay. that I watched thoroughly, um, and Dave and I talked about it a little bit before we went on the air. I wish they showed more of the food instead of the shows of like Arendelle and the Marvel show of dinner. Yeah, that are at dinner. I wish they showed the actual food. <laughs> like you know, um, it actually just speaking from what we have coming up. Um, that may have been a request from Disney uh, to just show, like they really wanted to hit heavy on the shows. So okay. I can see that possible. Um, although but, Matt and I agree, have, have you at least looked at the menus, Josh? No, I like I said, I haven't looked at anything okay. other than you know the. I think I think I artist s- renderings. I think early. I sent something out to jo- Josh. I think I texted you about this. I gained about fifteen pounds yeah. just reading the menus. Yep, yeah. I am. I'm gonna have to come back from this Alaska trip, maybe like run a little bit. Matt doesn't run. <laughs> <laughs> maybe eat a couple of salads leading into going on the wish like three weeks later. But that those menus look solid. So so they are different than yes. Than, than, oh yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's and good. and Josh, just because I know you want to know, I, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but I will say they are letting adults go down the slide. Yes. Yes. Oh, wow. Yes. That's cool. Yes, I saw yeah. that many times. Um, cool. I'll say this, the slide, Under- I expected a little bit more of a wow factor out of the slide. Well, but, I mean, it's for kids, right? So, Well, obviously, it's, it seems like it's for everybody now. <laughs> right? We're kids. And and Ish. so if, if when we get on the ship, 
we can say that if they tell us no, well, you let a bunch of other YouTubers do it before us, right? right? So we should be able to do that. So, (laughs) Eric, do horizontal runs. Lay on your side and move your feet in running motion. (laughs) That's why Eric's one of my best friends. It's just... (laughs) I just listen to whatever he says. He's he's got it down to a science. There you go. Um, Well, before we go any further, let's... uh, you know, because I'm back. Let, let's do the oh. actual introduction for the oh, show, right? So, oh, Dad right? wants so, us to do the responsible so, thing. So, welcome back, everybody, to the uh, Go Go Getaways Travel Podcast. Um, we are a full service travel planning agency here to help you plan your next destination vacation, whether it's uh, here to Walt Disney World, to Tokyo Disneyland, across the across the ocean, in a cruise, whatever. Um, whether you have big kids, small kids, or no kids at all, we have somebody who can help you plan your next trip. Um, probably not tonight's but more than likely starting tomorrow. So uh, you can head on over to www.gogogetaways.com. There it is. Thanks. I was trying You're to welcome. find it. So yeah, my, my setup, my setup now is a little bit different because I've adjusted some stuff here on my desk. So. Oh, <laughs> excuses. So it's like <laughs> I'm trying to reach for things and see, I'm not used to being like second fiddle. Now I'm used to being the one talking and as I'm talking, finding things. So yeah, that's, that's good. Cool. So you you can just take the yeah, the, the back seat is. the back seat this time and hit all the buttons. Do you know how hard it is for me to take a back seat, Josh? Oh, we know. Oh, Dave. <laughs> I, oh, I know. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> Say my first rodeo. Uh, we know. <laughs> um. Oh yeah. So I don't think I've been on the podcast since we were in Nashville. Yeah. Yeah. I, right? which, I have a bone to pick with you, sir. Oh, yeah, pick, pick away. I can't wait for this. Pick Nashville's away. only like an hour away from me. And and you were talking about not knowing anything about Nashville. I go to Nashville like once a month. You could have called me, and I, I could have told you the places to go. Yeah, the, the thing was with Nashville was, so we our flights got canceled, and so we were trying to figure out whether we were going to go up through into Tennessee before the wedding or go through Arkansas into Little Rock and see some other friends of ours before the wedding. Right. We couldn't really decide what we wanted to do. But we decided kind of last minute, you know what, we're just going to go to Nashville. We'll do that for uh, basically two nights and then head head to the wedding. So, um, I mean, it was it was okay. Dude, not that's, my not, that's not, not my that's not that's the not way, your scene. Listen, hold on. And the it's way not, that, it's not the your way, scene, I understand. The way that you guys described it when we talked about Nashville the last time, I was actually a little disappointed. I thought there was going to be way more going on. And there really wasn't that much on the streets. Of course, now, granted, this was a Wednesday night and a Thursday night. So there's your first mistake. So take that for, well, I can't be there on a Saturday or Friday night. I got a wedding. So, but with that being said, um, it was kind of cool to take some, uh, I did do some street photography, which I've been trying to get more into lately, which was kind of cool. So um, I'm not going to shamelessly plug my own stuff, but that was nice. But like, as far as like music goes, that's not your style, though. Let me but, ask you, Josh. But, the, what but bar here's did, the thing: there wasn't any like actual real country music that was being played. Well, what bar did you go into? Um, we only, you never said that on the video. Oh, you're right. Um, because I don't remember. We only could go into two places. Nowhere else would let us in with a bag. Did you try all. Tootsie's at least? Um, Tootsie's, Tootsie's is the first one across the street from uh the um uh, the the arena. No, we did not go into Tootsie's. Okay, because that's no. the premier bar on on the strip. Okay, so that that's the one. The next time we, you go, go to we skip that one. We we skip that one. <laughs> Is it? It said like up on the corner. Yes. Okay. All yeah. right. It's that's that's the one that all of Nashville knows about. I mean, I think, yes. I I think I will throw this on Taylor's shoulders a little bit, as in maybe it, it didn't seem as. It's not a. It, it's a photographic, you know, the, yeah, and, all, nice. all the yeah. places, the old school honky tonks that you want to go to are the dives. There are your yeah. Tootsies, your nudies, all those places. Like, are you going to go to the name brand places? Like your J, um, like your Blake, Jason, Shelton, Aldean. Old, Jason Aldean's Blake Shelton's. Like, obviously you went to, would you go to dinner at Timberlake's, right? Yeah, we did. Ooh, how's that? Yeah. Uh, it was okay. I, I don't think we would do it again. The way that they advertise it as being like more of kind of like that intimate, uh dinner setting so somewhat with like with like some music going on right with like some performances it was not that way at all it was um super loud the tables were pretty close together 
and uh you know i mean the food was was decent it was good but yeah. the atmosphere was yeah it was okay all right, so, all right. but you should have got on one of those pedal but those i would have oh, loved to man. see josh on a pedal you, should, I, you got some good video of some people on those those are a blast yeah i don't even think i used like 50 percent of the video that I got from people. On the, I mean, that was like one of the big things at night was those people on those pedal bikes um, and the party buses basically. Yeah. And, and uh, I think I did have one shot. I was going to, I was going to use, but I was like, this might be a little too suggestive for our somewhat more family audience, um, which was one girl. She was, she was just pretty, pretty skimpy. And they had like a pole. And I mean, like she was really, I mean, that there is town, that, but, uh, for those joining, wanting to hear about Alaska, we'll get to that in a minute. But we got to talk about Josh in Nashville because that's basically my neck of the woods. And Josh is not a country music fan, I'm so not at all. I, uh, I that blows my mind. Did you even go see the Mother Church? The Mother Church? No, we didn't do that either. The Ryman <laughs> Auditorium? No, we went up to um the what? What is it? The Nissan Stadium, yeah, the like, Parthenon. Yeah, yeah, so that one. Okay, let me tell you why the Parthenon's there. Okay. Nashville's sister city is Athens, Greece. So, it, why is it? Why is Athens, Greece, its sister city? I don't know. That's just something that so they've weird. done. We'll look that up so, next week. Yeah, that's why they did are. Did Athens agree to this? I'm sure they did. <laughs> So but, if you go to Athens, yeah, I mean, it's probably just I mean, a big, listen, like, cowboy boot somewhere. Li- li- listen, here, I don't want to dwell on Nashville here, right? We can talk no, about Alaska. That, Nashville's but, awesome. It's a great I mean, like, town. It's it's a you know, there's a city for everybody. Nashville was not in any way our scene. Um, I, maybe, I can see that. Maybe like when we were back in like our early twenties, and there was kind of more of like that let's be country type of theme going. But now that I'm a real adult and I don't really care. Most of the time, what I look like, I'm just like, eh, it's not for me. So, Matt, uh, wow, are we? I know, right? Have, can we kick him off? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Can I, uh, uh, we'll, just, we'll just kick Dave off there for a second. There, you forget I have a button, Josh. <laughs> I can bring myself back. <laughs> All right. Oh. Well. We uh, just, you didn't even do Vanderbilt. You were right across the street from well, Vanderbilt. Well, we did. I mean, we, I, I would have walked around Vanderbilt, um, but we, I don't know. It's just, it's like when you get there and we were trying to do some different things and trying to see a bunch of different stuff, it was like, it's was, it was kind of tough to judge as to like exactly what you should really do. But I mean, we did see the college. I mean, yeah. we drove past it a couple of times. It was nice. Um, you know, it would have been a nice place to maybe actually get out and walk around. But yeah, yeah. it's a cool. It's it's a it's the, I believe it's the smallest SEC campus. Um, oh, so right. Just know when you see that you're not really seeing an SEC school. We just let them in oh, for our God. academics. Please. Um, we 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 you like that we the we, right. we thing we are right. We live and die SEC oh. down here. <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, let's. Um, wow. I mean, do we have so so? No, yeah. So normally we would have a script. I'm assuming that these two have not had a script to go off of. Well, that's why I sent you one. that text message earlier, and you kind um, of like, what are you talking we, about? We've no, sort I, of I, kept to an older script. And, and... I I figured just with kind of none of us have done an Alaska cruise, so right. in reality, we really don't have any authority to really talk about what to bring on an Alaska cruise because we haven't done I've it watched yet. a so, lot of videos. I mean, I and I did too. Um, and so I kind of thought that it would be a cool idea to get on. We'll do a podcast about it. And then maybe at some point, you know, in the next couple of weeks after we get back, we can really do another episode of talking about like things that we should have brought or things that we didn't need yeah. to bring or blah, blah, blah. Right. So, um, so yeah, I, I mean, I think that was kind of my, uh, thinking, but speaking of a script though, um, what kind of news do we have to talk about? Anything, anything important? I mean, there was a new thing? ship that got christened last week. By, the by some wish? company, yeah. The, the I mean, wish. but you guys, but you guys talked about that, right? Well, or was we, it we, just we, a viewing party? It was it just was more just, of a viewing party. Yeah. Right. Um. And, and there's not much we can say because if we say anything, it, there would be spoilers. And I know, Josh, you want to be surprised. I, I do. Um. So I, I will say this: the only thing I'm going to spoil about is 
if anyone has five thousand dollars they want to loan a poor star wars fan um i would gladly accept it because i would like to go to skywalker ranch (laughs) How, how would that work? Like, is it like only Josh only and I'm gonna have person. so so I did see that, right? Um, is that what we're talking about, right? Yeah, the, the, the drink or crystal. Um, so it's four shots and a drink, right? And it's it's expensive drinks. Yes. I mean, Pappy yes. Van Winkle twenty three. Yeah, I think which, I saw. I read an article. They were saying that like almost all the stuff that was used in it is at least over a thousand or two thousand dollars each bottle. Um, right. in and of itself. So, I mean, it, it does make sense that, I mean, they can charge an arm and a leg and half a kidney for, for a yes. drink, but oh, plus know. it comes with more, you get to keep the cups. I mean, woohoo. That's true. Uh, you get special privileges on the ship. Uh, you get priority boarding. I believe you get a concierge level service with it. Like they'll give you, I, I, there, there's some other stuff that comes with it. Uh, but to me, the kicker is you get one pass to Skywalker ranch. I mean, when you look at the value of it, I guess overall, it, it maybe starts to add up. So, yeah. And, and you're right. I mean, Skywalker Ranch, they don't let the, that's not open to the public. So, nope. Yeah. And yeah. Like, like we were talking about a couple of weeks ago when we went over the, the uh, $100,000 Adventure by Disney trip. Uh, oh, if yeah. I get to, if, if we wake up at Skywalker Ranch and George Lucas is walking around making <laughs> breakfast, I, I would probably go crazy. <laughs> I would fanboy, <laughs> Dave. You've actually heard you've heard about what's the deal is with that cruise. It's uh, not the cruise. The um that whole adventure by Disney is sold out. Yeah, it's sold out. Yeah, the seventy five oh spots gosh. sold out. Concierge yeah. Lounge uh, bought it all out. Yeah. Seventy five people. That's crazy. Yes, crazy. And we um, couldn't get our GoFundMe page set up in time. <laughs> I know. But like some like. I, 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 I do I do have something I will mention. I'll just bring up, um, which is that uh, two things. Uh, because we're talking about Royal Caribbean tonight, our cruise is on Ovation of the Seas with Alaska. Um, some really cool news is that uh, one of the ships, I can't remember which one it is, um, is actually getting uh, Elon's Starlink internet, basically the satellite internet oh, that's uh, on cool. the ship. So it's already been installed. They applied with the FCC, I think, to get uh, clearance on it and the FCC finally cleared them. So if you guys don't know on a cruise ship, I don't know how well, like, I don't know if this will be a bad thing in Alaska because all of our ports are technically U S ports besides British Columbia. Um, but you know, internet out at sea specifically is atrocious. Mm -hmm. Um, it is really bad. It's basically dial up internet and they charge you an arm and a leg for the internet. So uh, basically now, if you guys haven't been seeing that Elon's been launching like three rockets a month with like 70 satellites um, in each one, uh, they have basically made this blanket around the earth. So they've got this new satellite system set up and uh, and yeah, Royal Caribbean is the first one to use it. So as long as it goes well, you're going to start seeing it probably being implemented across the entire Will fleet. it be on the ovation? It will not. No, yeah, I don't okay. think so. Um, because they basically installed it on the one ship. I think it's going out of uh, maybe Miami. Um, and uh, that they basically started running it before they even got clearance to use it. So while traveling between ports will still be out of service. So, um, but yippee. I mean, I, under- I I figured that we bought the the internet package to call home, call the girls. Uh, and yeah. do FaceTime with the girls, but I got to thinking about it. We're going to be six hours apart from what they are, so we'll they'll be going to bed when we're waking up. Something true, like that. yeah, that's true. Um, and and I mean the other thing too is like I mean we get it all the time because obviously yeah. social media you stuff we kind of need to have it, but um, but hopefully that'll make it better in the future. Here, where are we, we won't have tr- such. Go ahead. Yeah, are we going to try to live stream the three of us? Uh, I mean, we certainly can. Should. I mean, certainly can try. Yeah, I said we at least try. You know. So D- Dave, I got to go to this right now just because I get like three text messages at the same time. Everybody oh wants to know what's in the red solo cup. Matt, ah. What's in the red solo cup? I get this from my baseball players. What's in the red solo cup? <laughs> it's Minute Maid Fruit Punch. I'm not, I'm not wild and crazy. It's just Fruit Punch. That's good. That's good. That's Dave, you don't, Dave, you don't need to comment. <laughs> Dave, we all know. <laughs> you don't have to go there. It's not my bourbon this Oh, speaking speaking of that, like since we're talking cruises real quick, Dave, um last night was booking for you for um yes. your trip on the wish. What what'd you get? You get anything good? 
only thing I got was the bourbon tasting. Did you um, follow my directions oh, well. and not get disappointed? I, I, I was, yeah, I was not disappointed because I was, I was expecting to have nothing. And, uh, yeah. you know, what, what did make me a little disappointed is we're going with some friends that we were, we were going to split a cabana on, uh, Coco K or not Coco K, Castaway K. Coco K. Yeah. No, perfect day. Right now. Um, and, uh, yeah, no cabanas for me. Well, so. people, it's and, and like I, I don't know. Did I talked to you about this this morning, last night. I lose track of my days. We right we now. talked about it, yeah. yeah. Like if you're not concierge level or platinum, the chances of you getting a cabana, Slow you got a, you pretty much got a better shot of getting on that hundred and nine dollar adventure by Disney trip. That's true. Yeah, but you know, it, I'm not there. Oh, don't get me wrong. I look every day. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I will continue to wait, and I'm sure somebody will drop a cabana. So they don't even get to it's this because there's a wait list inside the concierge level that they don't even oh, they really? will never get to the public. Right. Okay. Well, um, I, I will say though, I mean, anybody who if you haven't done a Disney cruise before, if you did one and, and you were disappointed, um, when you get on the ship, what's really great right now is that you no longer actually have to go to guest services to really take care of anything. You can do almost everything on the app. So as soon That's as you cool. get on the ship and you connect to the ship Wi-Fi, um, Get on and start trying to get stuff added that you weren't able to add, uh, you know, beforehand, because sometimes some of that stuff will open up once people get on the ship. So yeah. it just happens. People cancel, change their plans, all that kind of stuff. So um, some people will probably be denied boarding, unfortunately. Right. So with the way that the world is, um, yeah. which speaking of being denied boarding, let's talk. Um, I think it was Viking Cruises, uh, Oceanic Cruises. I think that's who it was. Uh, I could be corrected here. Somebody might correct me in the comments if they really care that much. But um, one of the cruise lines has actually now uh, gotten completely rid of COVID testing to board their ship. Whoa, this is not wow. any. This is not any cruise line that is setting sail, I believe, from any of the actual U.S. ports. Um, but it is a step, I think, in the right direction. So, uh, unfortunately, I think somebody did a news article the other day and, and interviewed Royal Caribbean's president um, who said that, you know, it's probably going to be here in the States for a few more months, but. And, and honestly, I'm okay with that. It to go away. If you, it, yeah. It, but if you look at Florida, if you look at some other States, there is some spiking right now uh, in the COVID data. Right. Uh, so, so, I mean, I, I, I am, if, if just be extra careful if, if you're going on a cruise you know, maybe take some precaution, but some precaution. Do we want to talk about foolishness? Like anybody see what happened on carnival last week? Uh, don't start mm -hmm. fights. Whoa. No, no, let's hear it. Whoa. I didn't see this. What happened? It was like a, a, a oh, brawl. Yes, straight yes, up. Yes, like, like we're not going to talk people. about why the brawl happened. Se right? Yeah. Right. Seven, 70 people. Right. It was, yeah. That's a lot. Like, like yeah. it was just, a just lot. Don't act a fool. You don't act. Don't act foolish. And it's on carnival, so this is my surprise face. I I wouldn't I wouldn't expect it from anywhere else, really. Right. All right. Who's ready to talk? Well, we gotta we let's we gotta do our group stuff because we need to get. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's right. Stuff. You haven't. Josh. I know. That's, that's right. I got this. I got this. Relax. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Tokyo, twenty twenty three, March twenty sixth to March thirty first. Um, exploring the city tours. Um, the cherry blossoms, Mount Fuji, and then on the back end, uh, Tokyo Disneyland and Disney Sea. Um, anybody interested in that trip? What no, go, uh, events, events at gogetaways.com and the subject Tokyo 2023. Dave, you're still, still going. I know, I know that was there, there's there's some questions. My, my family. Oh. Well, Josh, you and I will talk later, but it's just champagne for everybody. Yeah. Um, no, hey, <laughs> uh, Amanda's being concerned that we're leaving the girls too much. Oh, I mean, come on. Listen, uh, they're young. They'll be fine. <laughs> They'll bounce back. <laughs> That's right. And She's... she wants to go, she also wants to go to Alani, too. Ooh. Yeah. Fancy pants. And then the next one we got after that, Josh, do we have, I mean, before I start talking about, do we have rooms left right now? Um, I believe so. I should probably get on and check, um, just to make sure. Well, we can talk uh, about it and then you can just no, go ahead, break go ahead. it, break yeah. everybody's heart. Um, the Mediter nine day Mediterranean cruise on the Norwegian Viva. 
uh, leaving August 17th, 2023, all the way to August 26th. We're going to be hitting, leaving out of Lisbon, Portugal. We're going to be hitting Spain, France, Italy, um, and we're going to disembark in Rome. Um, I'm excited about this trip. Just saying. I know and, it's... And email. I know. Um, yes, specifically on this one, you have to email Josh Rippy at goldgillgetaways.com. Subject, I want to go on the Viva. Okay. Subject, subject, Viva La Cruz. All right. So here's, here is uh, the info. Um, I currently. Have is this the 2024? Hold on. Hold on. Sorry. But my chair are you jumping? My are you getting, jumping the gun on this one? No, he's he's. I think he's talking about the Viva. I don't know. Are are, right. are we getting the 2024 right. cruise? Uh, no, no mention of that yet. Oh, um, all right. So this cruise for the Mediterranean. If you're interested, I will be pulling some more rooms. But currently, I have no rooms left. So wow. um, if you're interested, if you're interested, you are more than welcome to still tag along with us and go. Um, I will grab another block of rooms. The price might, unfortunately, be more expensive. So if you emailed me earlier and you were like excited about it, and then you're like, oh, I'm on the fence. Unfortunately, now the price may have gone up. I don't know if to pull another block of rooms for it, but um, but we have like a decent sized group of people, which is really awesome for this Mediterranean cruise. It's going to be more or less than a last thing. Um, boy, oh boy, I don't know. I'd have to count and see. I have we're forty two. On Alaska, I don't think all forty-two people are technically part of our group, but I will count them part of our group. But um, on this one, we have so far thirty-four. Wow, okay. that's so, good. Big group. So it's pretty good. Yeah, all balcony rooms except for I think two people. We have two singles, which are not part okay. of the block because Norwegian is what you get. But yeah, so it's going to be super cool and a lot of fun. And at a at a future date, we will talk about 2024. So, Josh, you've been teasing this for three coming. months. Hey, yeah, Dave, you want to know what it is? Yeah, dude. He, he changed. We know he changed his mind on where it originally was going to be, and he That's doesn't true. want to say it yet. That's a good point. I have a feeling I know where it is, but I haven't told anybody. I, I have an idea. It's at Disney World. <laughs> yeah, it's on the <laughs> Disney Wish. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's. He's just bringing a group trip to Disney World. There you go. There you go. Yeah. He's tired of traveling. <laughs> oh, they're on my light. Oh uh -oh. boy! All right. All right, we're thirty minutes in, guys. We we got yeah, we let's break into the it. let's break into it. All right. So, Josh. You, you wanted to be here for this topic, so I assume you have a lot of insight. If you've watched a lot of videos on how to pack for Alaska yourself, or or Taylor has already made yeah, this. This is all. Notes. This is all Taylor right here. Yeah. Uh, well, I will say Taylor has a completely packed suitcase at this point. I have nothing packed at all, so uh, I have to do. I literally have to do all that tomorrow because. Like I said, we 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 are flying out on Thursday. We're not gonna have any time to do anything next week. So I, I will say, Amazon has made a trip to my house for oh, the past man. six yeah, um, days. How about it? Yeah, <laughs> same here. Um, man. Yeah. I've had four Amazons, and I hit up Kohl's again today. After I hit yeah, up Kohl's I, last week and found some great stuff on clearance, I actually went to REI today. So. Ooh, oh. um, yeah, I was trying You're to find to the expensive stuff. Well, I mean, <laughs> I was classy. trying to get some good shorts and uh, some good pants, like for hiking and stuff like yeah. that. So, okay, okay, you know, so, we'll see. let me Go ask ahead. you, and, and and we we talked about this a little bit, Matt. You and I talked about this a little bit on our uh, coffee with with Dave and Matt on Wednesday. <laughs> are we doing two suitcases a person, or are we just doing a a carry on in a suitcase? How how is that? Let's just get the basics out of but, the way. I think we got to go to Josh on this one first because Josh has probably ca absolute chaos. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we do have some chaos going right now. So Taylor has one, one big large suitcase that is packed full. Um, and then she's going to take a carry on and a personal item. So her personal item is actually a backpack. That's a pretty decent size. It still fits underneath the seat. She took that with her to um, LA back in November. For like so it's, it's not days. her lounge fly. 
Oh, no. <laughs> um, so now I will say just so everybody is, I mean, I don't know that we were really keeping a secret, but um, we did get first class tickets on Delta, which gives us two bags at 70 pounds each. Um, so I don't know. We're going to weigh Taylor's bag. I basically said, listen, you might as well just pack that sucker full because you get 20 extra pounds than normal. So I think we'll be okay on her bag. We'll see what my bag looks like. Um, I do have a lot of camera gear. Some of it is I'm going to be picking up in Seattle from rental stuff. So, but as of right now, we each are planning to take one full size suitcase. Each will have one carry on like roller and each of us will have one backpack that'll slide underneath the seat. Are you so. checking your camera gear or will that be oh, no, no, in no, no, your, no, no, okay. No, 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 no. Okay. We don't check. <laughs> um, have you seen the way those guys throw those bags? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, that's why that's that's why you have to get a uh, a yeah. hard side suitcase. You don't. Oh, I mean, I do. I do have one. Like, I have a good like name brand suitcase for that. But I still like I will not put underneath the plane unless they say, "Sir, there's no overhead bin space left. We need to put it under the plane." Then I will. Okay. But All that's right. at the gate, so I know that they're not just like gonna chunk it. I, I fingers crossed. I hope that they never do, but you never know. <laughs> so. All right, Matt, uh, what about you? How are you? So we're going three bags overall. So three roll through under the plane and then two backpacks. That's it? Total? Yeah, three bags. Three bags and two backpacks. So five bags total. Wow. Uh, Okay. Okay. We Um, got to remember, like, and I talked about this. Ani Beth is a fan of doing laundry. And I know she's not going to be able to do it on the ovation. But like I'm sure when we get to Disneyland, she need, she'll need her decompressed time away from all the nonsense that's going to be going on for the last eight days, nine days, um, before getting into that Saturday. Um, so I'm sure she'll spend some time at um, the what is it, Paradise Piers um, laundromat. Hmm. Okay. Okay. We plan on doing a a big suit. Like I've got a 30, 32 inch suitcase. Uh, so I've, I've got a really big one and then Amanda's got another really big one. And then I'm going to have a, a decent size roller carry on and my, my work backpack, which is I think four compartments. Uh, so I plan on, and, and I've got this all figured out. I, I'm going to, when I, when we get to Royal Caribbean, I'm going to check my roller carry on bag and just stuff my backpack full so I don't have to ha- carry on all that stuff onto the ship. Because keep in mind, when we get on the ship, you, you'll have to carry whatever bag you don't check for at least two hours, two or three hours. Right. Um, yeah, I guess that's I guess that's probably true. Uh, it depends. Sometimes, um, sometimes for whatever reason, they they'll get their rooms a little bit. They'll get them ready a little earlier. But yeah, you're you're probably right, Dave. Mm-hmm. Depending on what time you get on the ship, you will be lugging that stuff around. So right. So get something you can put on your back. And, and Josh, I don't know what you're going to do because you'll have all your camera equipment plus your carry-on bag. Dave, Whoop. Dave, Dave. Yes. Do you think is this Josh's first cruise he's ever been on? No, it's not. Okay, no, it's so, not. So yeah, I got I it. Don't don't you worry, buddy. Okay. All right. So so then I guess we got to figure out what's inside the bags. We we oh, we know. It's a great question. Yeah, Josh, because <laughs> well, Josh doesn't know either. <laughs> right. well, no, well, uh, well, yeah, I don't know yet either. <laughs> well, but let's lead with this, right? Okay. I think one of the most challenging things about Alaska, what makes it so much different than than the Mediterranean, which we haven't been to yet, but is that I think is easier to plan out. Um, even the Caribbean or the Bahamas, right? Caribbean and the Bahamas all year round, for the most part, is going to be the same constant temperature. You might have some nights where it's going to be a little cooler, especially in the wintertime. Alaska, right? When they start their sailings in what, May to like late October? Yeah. The range here of what you can expect is literally summer and winter. So I think it's really challenging to really understand and try to figure out what to plan. Um, Because if you watch some people's videos, right, they are on the ship in May or they're on the ship in October or even late September. And it's snowing and it's freezing. Um, but that also still happens in July. You right. know, they'll get like this weird cold spell and, you know, it might be low 50s. Or well, like um, with jo- rain. Josh, for one one second, like talking about that, um, I know Dave and I mentioned it last week. Juno was up to 80 last week. 
Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's like, so that, that it's even that wider range of, I mean, I'm looking right now, Juno's 67 right now. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so they're in the sixties and Skagway's up to 75. Yeah. Chris so 6280 looks like. Yeah. Yeah. So Chris, um, Chris has actually done a couple of Alaska cruises before. So he is uh, somewhat, I would say of a seasoned Alaskan cruiser. We, we had, I think I had to really pull some teeth to get him to join us on this cruise, but I mean, I, I don't know. How do you not pack everything in the kitchen sink in right. your suitcase for this cruise? Chris you know? says jeans and t-shirt. Uh, here's here's <laughs> what I've got. Like one of the things I bought from from Alaska, and and this is uh, from Amazon. This is something that I don't own in Alabama because I don't have a need for it. My wife made me buy a puffy jacket. <laughs> oh and wow! Okay, I don't have a need for it in Alabama. But yeah. all of the, the videos that we've seen said that you're going to need it at least two to three nights on the seven-day cruise. So I so depending on what you're doing, um, we have another friend who's done um, Alaska before. And if you are going to do the excursion where they tender up next to the ship and they take you right up to the glacier, he said that that is going to be one of the coldest days, um, more than likely, uh, of the entire ship or of the entire cruise. Um, because that glacier just, I mean, it's, it's ice. So, <laughs> right. I mean, you're getting a natural AC blowing right there. Right. So, um, so I, I actually, Dave, I'm also taking a down jacket, right. A puffy jacket. So, yeah. um, I don't know how much I'm actually going to wear it. I might not really wear it at all, but I do. I mean, I know we have a larger group going, but honestly I do try. I like, I am planning to try and be out on the deck as much as possible. I mean, there's so much to see. Yeah. Well, yeah, we know? have our 9 a.m. itineraries. Aren't we doing morning <laughs> yogurt at 9 a.m. every day? Well, I mean, well, that too. But I mean, like, I mean, you're going in and out of the fjords. So I, there is a lot to see and there's a lot that's going to be going on. So. I'm sorry. I can't hear the word fjord without fjords? thinking, hold oh, ice and winter snow and rain and the All right. <laughs> yeah, we're going you to mean, I, I got lucky. It's like I bought a puffy vest. You know what I mean? Well, you're from. Like, you're from uh, where it snows all the time. Anyway. I'm not like yeah, I'm lucky I even bought that. Like I could be honestly, and I know everybody's gonna think I'm psycho. I could wear this and be fine. Yeah. See, I can't. I'm, like, I'm, that's just here the way yeah, I've yeah, grown like, up. Like, see, being a Floridian now, if the temperature drops below 70 here, I'm wearing a sweatshirt outside. Normally Good with jeans. Grief. I mean, it that's just the way it is. It's tough. So I know I'm gonna I know I'm gonna struggle when we're up there. So yeah, I definitely have a down jacket or a puffy jacket, just like you, Dave. Let me ask you this, Josh. Are you going to struggle not seeing the moon much? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, you know, I'm I'm deciding on whether or not I want to try and stay up pretty late for one of those days to try yeah. and just catch that, like, in-between time. So we'll see. Yeah. Can you make sure to let everybody know so we're not looking for you at 9 a.m. at, like, the, the <laughs> iFly <All right>. or something? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For those wondering, Matt and Dave really laughed when we saw the, the itinerary. <laughs> oh man! Uh, so so a jacket and layers. But here's here's my question: If we're only taking one suitcase, how do you get all of these layers plus your formal nights plus your your, your jeans, yeah. your shorts, your uh, Josh? I'm sure you're going to pack stuff to work out in a couple of nights. You know how, how are you packing all of that? Plus, let's remember. The three of us are also going to the Californian climate. Right. So right. That, that's the thing. We're going th three different states, almost close to three different climates to some extent. Oh, it is definitely three different climates. I mean, there's no doubt about that. So, I mean, that is where when we started doing this planning, that's why we booked the seats that we booked on the plane because we get two bags <laughs> under the plane at 70 pounds. So, if we got to take, if it's like we got to take another bag. We'll take another yeah. bag. I don't know how we're going to carry all those bags, right? I mean, yeah, I'm going to have to get like a rope or a strap and like, you know, create like a, a train of like luggage <laughs> behind me. You know, this is uh, gonna be, can you set up a video like all the video of you like mug it and pull oh, the no, luggage? No. Can I you got, set that up on Patreon I got, first? I, I got a, um, I saw them over at Target. They were on sale. They're like little GoPro handle clamps. Um, they were like six bucks. They're normally like $25. I was like, oh, I'm going to buy them. I bought like three of them. And they will they will clamp right onto the handles, and nice. I can set it up, and it'll oh yeah, that'd be perfect. That's one. Val's, Val's got a good one. 
Yes. Vacuum um, roll-up bags. And, and, and so that's what I was going to say. I was going to add that. We got vacuum roll-up bags when we did our Royal Caribbean cruise back in December. Um, or maybe it was the fantasy. I don't remember in January. But here's the thing I want to mention with that. If you plan to do that and you roll them up, keep in mind that your clothes will 100% get wrinkled in those bags. That's when you buy Downy Wrinkle Releaser. So, yeah. So make sure if that's what you're going to do, have something like that. Um, otherwise, you're going to have wrinkled clothes because that Taylor didn't do that. I did that with all mine and all my clothes are wrinkled. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm in funny. trouble. <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. Yeah. I can't move on. Um, I'm going pa- like this is the first time I'm kind of doing this. I'm going with the packing cube routine. Yeah. I'm, okay. gonna, I'm gonna give that give that a whirl. That was a Amazon buy. So yeah. I, I bought some of those compression bags to put in my suitcase. Here's why, Val. I didn't go with vacuum bags because on this leg of the trip, I've got a vacuum. But when yeah. I'm packing to come home. That's you. Mm. You got to buy the non-vacuum right. bags. Yes. Oh, okay. That's why I say roll them. So they make bags now where they're the exact same thing, but that doesn't require a vacuum. So you seal it up and you literally roll it, and all the air will get pushed out the bottom. Oh. But when you roll it, if your clothes aren't folded or rolled the proper way, everything in there will get wrinkled because you're just uh-huh. compressing it all together. So, okay. yeah, yeah. So. I'm I'm not very good with folding and ring and de-wrinkling and all right. that. So. If you see me on Caribbean night and all my clothes are wrinkled or whatever, just look the other way. Right. And, and I know you mentioned this, Dave, is formal night. Yeah, I'm not bringing anything crazy for formal night. I'm uh, not. I'll, no, I'll bring a pair of khakis and a what a khakis? You bring khakis? Khakis. Oh my gosh. Well, we have to bring formal stuff because we're actually we're going to be um, eating at the chef's table. Oh, fancy. So, it is very fancy, so we do have to dress up for that. So must be nice to be, mm. you know, teacher's pet. Mm. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah, it's a, I, I won't bring it up, but yeah, go ahead. So, what else we got? What else you think, no, Dave? It is something you can. So, one of the, <laughs> I, now Chris, Chris gave me a great idea because I perfect. do have a tuxedo shirt. That's I might bring it. You should. You should. Um, one thing I am not bringing on this trip, and I. I I'm struggling because I, I want to maybe a swimsuit. I mean, I might just, Oh, well, the, no, well no. definitely. Dave, the ba- it's the all pool's inside. It's all enclosed, Dave. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's all glass. So you should hundred percent bring your bathing suit. Like, Dave, you, yeah. or, or not bring your bathing suit. I'm sure or some not. people would be okay or with not. that. I was going to say, does anyone <laughs> want to see my fat butt in a bathing suit? But I mean, <laughs> but like, that, we got to remember the ovation of the seas was meant for cold weather. So it's, yeah. Yeah. that's why the pools are inside. Yeah, that is very true. That is That's very a true. big drastic difference between Royal and like say the Wonder of the Seas with Disney, right? That ship is not meant for cold water. Right. So everything's exposed to the outdoors. This ship, that's what's great about it. Um, most everything is encased in glass, so it still is a nice warm temperature um in there. So it's uh, the flow rider. Point. Yeah. So Chris and I will definitely be out there on the flow rider if anybody else is interested that's going and watching. what day is that on the itinerary I lost track. I don't I have no idea. But um <laughs> that look. is not that's not in glass. Uh no. that is open to the outside. So that will probably be cold. But it'll be fun. I mean I'm excited like the whole solarium area is in 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 yeah. glass too and right yeah. at the front of the ship and it's actually looks like a bigger solarium than some of the other ships on yeah, excited to start my morning there. Yep. Uh, Flow Rider is day six at nine a.m. Primarily, yeah, maybe that's a no yes. for me, dog. Uh, same well, here. I mean, listen, you guys, you guys haven't, you guys didn't do our first cruise, so no, everything is subject to change, especially when we get on the ship, because like the Flow Rider, sometimes they only have one Flow Rider, so it might not be open at nine o'clock. It might not even be open to us at nine o'clock. It might only be open to key guests. It might only be open to concierge guests. Blah, 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 blah. So everything is um, subject to change. So one thing that you, you asked if what I'm bringing, Josh, and here's something that you have to remember. We're not in the Atlantic. We're not in the Caribbean. Bring Dramamine. If you are Ooh. subject to any seasickness. Uh, Matt and I were watching a video today yep. of, of a YouTube couple that uh, has not just you started. Guys. It's not you guys. Our new favorite. Yeah, uh, that, okay. that that they, they have just started, but they uh, they need some help, Josh. You might want to talk to them. Uh, but <laughs> um, oh my god, it was the the 
The water yeah. was rough. That yeah. Royal Caribbean put barf bags out, like well, in the it, stairwells, it, and they said ten to twelve foot waves, and yeah. So it, it, I mean, it can happen. You know, I mean, it's the Pacific. You know, it can get pretty rough out there. Yeah. So, haven't you ever seen uh, what is that no, show? No, no, we're King not crabs gonna, or we're not going to talk about or like deadliest catch or Poseidon. Catch, yeah, or, that's or, it. Yeah, yeah. That's what we'll, we'll, we'll be see. doing. Deadliest catch. Yeah. Let me let me ask you this, Josh. How many times will I make the joke? Iceberg dead ahead uh, on this cruise. Please don't. <laughs> well, listen. Let's talk about that, right? Because that's been an issue people, recently, right? Um, yeah. Some people were asking the other day when I was live streaming from Magic Kingdom. They were asking about, you know, are you worried about that? No. And and I'll explain why real quick, being at this last cruise. Even though I've never done one before, I feel I have complete authority to talk about this because it's kind of common knowledge, like or common sense. There's a difference between the Titanic that was like cruising along in the Atlantic and a ship that's like I'm talking like creeping its way up into these arms where the uh glaciers are at right right so you know a ship that's cruising and and collides with something like that there's going to be some major structural damage when these ships hit those it 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 happens actually way more than you think and it probably just doesn't get reported on because there's not any damage but i mean it 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 might happen while we're there but more than likely it's not going to cause any structural damage to the ship because we are creeping along up into that thing and they know and they've got people out there and they're looking to make sure and they're like you know all I can say, if I see some chick with a blue heart necklace, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm running. Do, do, do you <laughs> you got to carry her to the front of the ship. And... Yeah. Oh, oh, hopefully, I'm if you're carrying someone to the front, oh wow, oh boy, yeah, right. Yeah. Paint me like one of your French girls, Jack. <laughs> oh my god. Um, but I like I know, known. I should, yeah. I shouldn't even have brought that up. I mean, I should have known it was going to go down that road. <laughs> So, Josh, I know you haven't been on in a couple weeks, and you actually didn't even – actually, you did put a vote down, and I appreciated that. Um, what song are you oh, – you're, you're joining us for karaoke. No. Yes. Yes. Nope. yes. I yes. won't be there. Yes. Nope. <laughs> well, we've already established Val is actually going to join us, and he's yeah, actually it's... learning the in sync Bye 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 dance because Amy has got it for him. So Wow. Um, so I mean, Josh... in that case, maybe I will be there. <laughs> Look, not to participate, only to document. We oh, this... only need we need if Josh does it, we would need one more, and we would have a full five in sync. That will not happen. Um, uh, what else is it? Jo- okay, let me ask I, you this. I probably need to spend a little time at the Bionic Bar before I even got close. And that's to that. fine. Okay, that's no, my, that, it. well. It's, it's like we said, Dave is a professional sure karaoke would. person. I yeah. am with, with Liquid Courage. So it's yeah. it's fine. Yeah. Um, are you joining us for Adult Dodgeball? Um, I know some things conflict, and we're just talking out loud of some things. Like we yeah, need, I mean, you're I, probably the I, most athletic person there. I yes, no. Val would be way more athletic than I am. Okay. The guy runs like eight bazillion miles every year. So, um, yeah. Um, I mean, maybe I can't really like commit. I want to commit to anything on the podcast. Well, I don't have the well, schedule don't, in front of me. Well, don't worry, no one's going to say I'm, to any of I'm our not, stuff. Anyway. I'm going to say that I do one thing, and then Taylor's going to be like, "You can't do that. We're doing something else." Yeah, I mean, so yeah, I mean. Well, don't worry. We'll all be at Disney trivia. Uh, was it Disney name yes, that Disney. tune? We'll all be in. There. Oh, we're all yeah. there for that. Oh, we yeah. are so there for that. And, and then, then, and then night two is um nineties trivia. Nineties trip. No, it's no night two is the is the shush the hush party at the end of the night. Mm-hmm. Yes, but there. What was was it nineties nineties music and nineties songs? Dave and I are gonna crush that. So. Oh, oh boy, yeah, hands down. Like that was our that was our oh. our time frame. Yeah, hey, before hey. me. Yeah, Way what if it was you. 90s country? Then you and I would just dominate. Well, I think we're going to dominate this anyway. So That is true. That is Sorry, true. everybody. You know, I'll, I'll just tell you this to everybody else. Come as you are. Hey, um, <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, all right, so let, let's get back on track a little bit there. Oh, right. let's, one thing that like Pete, I want to talk about right now, footwear. What are you bringing for footwear? That's a great question. All right, so I've got – I hate to do this, but I've got – Four pair of shoes that I'm packing. Wow, Dave. I know. I feel like. Oh, four, oh time out, time out. Four you're packing plus the one on your feet? No, no. I'm wearing, okay. Four four pair of shoes on the trip. Okay. So okay. Just have, making sure. Because yeah. I know other people. We're not going to say um, Ashley Taylor. Foley. I think she's going to have a whole bag of shoes from what I'm hearing. Yeah. I mean, Taylor has quite a bit too, so. Yeah. Uh, Eric, was it 90s country just Garth and Billy Ray? Oh, dear Lord. Um, um, Eric, Eric, Eric. We're not friends anymore. 
Yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm I'm bringing my flip flops just because I, I want to be able to walk comfortably around the ship. Um, yes. I'm bringing my my tennis shoes. Yep. I'm bringing okay. some hiking shoes, and uh-huh. then I'm bringing some uh some shoes I can wear, like probably my boots that I can wear on formal night and like with khakis. Boots like. Timberlands? <laughs> no, boots. Like cowboy Co- boots. Cowboy boots? Yes. Josh, are you going to bring your cowboy boots? Do you still got those? I don't still have my boots. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I don't think I do have those. Actually. Does he have his beard still? Oh. I, I don't. I wish, I wish you did bring the beard. I, I know why you're not. Right. Well, I only have five pairs. Okay. So like I, for, for me, for instance, I'm going my, my New Balance walking hiking boots. Thank you to New Balance Tampa for sending me those oh, shout God. out to ken keenan uh, um i'm bringing my sandals because i don't go anywhere without them right, right um my regular pair of new balance sneakers thanks again new balance tampa thanks ken 990s keenan. um then... i i take what he sends me okay and i i have a tiktok made me buy it i love my new Did you get hey, the hey dudes i love hey dudes the those, those are awesome. the hey dudes are awesome yep i'm so sure i've I've got a pair of them, but they're I have flat feet, and so they're not as comfortable for me. I'm I'm gonna wear them as like my dressier shoe. Yeah. Well, that's that's the nice thing about hey dudes. I almost ordered some. Do you it. should, man. They're awesome. <laughs> um, before we left, if I can get them by Monday, maybe I might Amazon, order two day some. shipping. Well, if I do two day shipping, they oh, they won't be like I won't be here, but um, but right. I might still order some. But you're right, Matt. The nice thing about those is that like they're nice like casual, but also can go as a uh, as a dressier shoe. So, right, like I, yeah. I wore them out to dinner the other night with a long pair of pants, and then yeah. I wore them like obviously Dave and I talk a lot. I went to my buddy's um, MMA fight yeah. the night, and I had them on there in a pair yeah. just with a pair of shorts and no socks. Did he win? By the way, yes, forty three seconds. Oh, awesome! Yes, knockout uh, or no, no, he out. choked he choked a guy out. Oh, okay, nice. that's what he does. And I saw the back of the shirt, and there's the Go Go Getaways logo on the back of the shirt. Yay! <laughs> um, so, okay. What about you, Josh? Okay, so I'm not real sure yet because I haven't packed everything yet. But uh, <laughs> here, here's here's what I've got. Right. So I do have hiking boots specifically because I'm actually going hiking before the cruise. So uh, me and my friend Zach are going to be heading up uh, Mount Rainier. So I need those for that. Uh, definitely taking my running sneakers. And I will probably take flip flops um, or I hate to take my Mickey like natives, you know, they're like a croc, but, but they're all rubber and they're like yeah. an actual shoe. I hate to take them on a Royal ship, but I might take them just cause they're so comfy and they double. It's like, I can take those instead of flip flops because it doesn't matter if they get wet. Um, and then I have to take at least some type of dress shoe that will work. So I'll have probably four pairs at least. Yeah. So uh page asked a good question do they make hey dudettes they yes, don't make they, hey, do. they don't make well, they're not I mean, called hey dudettes but they do no, have a women woman shoe yeah they have a women's style i'm pretty sure yeah. so hey hey yeah. matt i don't think josh would get this but every time you talk about the uh the pair of shoes does a certain show come back come to mind no from nickelodeon in the 90s no Oh, there was a show what? called Hey Dude. It was about a oh, dude. Yeah, oh, the, the the kid um dude ranch yeah. one, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey dude. Uh, um, who's on that? Somebody big was actually on that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is I that's, gotta look it up. Yeah. Joy Fatone. No. And Joy Fatone. <laughs> <laughs> he did a lot of Disney stuff. Um was, Oh, Christine Taylor. Oh. Christ, Christine oh. Taylor's married to um Ben Stiller, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Ben Stiller, and she was also in everybody's favorite movie dodgeball dodgeball <laughs> yep yep um all right so shoes a jacket obviously some dress clothes or not uh sorry not i don't mean like obviously dress clothes but like obviously clothes right yes um yes. shirt long sleeve you see to me this just sounds like <clears throat> four bags i hate to say this but i'm a heavy packer when it when when it comes to even just a small trip because I, I like to have two to three outfits a day. So if I'm going to have to have T-shirts, long sleeve shirts, uh, hoodies, yeah. dress clothes, khakis, jeans, shorts. So uh, I will tell you this. Are you going away for like a month? Some, it feels some, like it. So, so Matt kind of knows this because he's made me some shirts. 
But yes. I have I have slowly been trying to get away from having shirts of like all different kind of colors and designs and all like all those button ups. I mean, I still like wearing those, but um, and I've been trying to go to wearing like more of just like standard. I know it's going to sound like bland, but like Ad- black, adult, white, gray, Ad- adult clothes. Yeah, I mean because you can essentially almost pack less, but still because they are like the more neutral, basic colors. Yeah. They right. can go very casual or they can go kind of like a nicer um, kind of look. So, you know, like I'm going to take probably a black bomber jacket, which I can wear with a white shirt or a gray shirt and either black pants or jeans. And it's either looks more casual or it looks, you know, dinner, like decent for a dinner or something like that. So that's how I'm going to try and get around not having to take so many clothes. But again, We've got Seattle, and then we've got the cruise, and then we've got Disneyland. So, right, it is tough. Right. But uh, let me ask you this: So, is anyone going to bring an actual like blazer? No. I, well, Josh, bla- I guess you probably have to. What's a blazer? <laughs> I will have a sports jacket. A sports jacket. I guess yeah. that's only what we call it in the South. Yeah. A navy blazer. I am not. Yeah. I, 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 I don't. I will have one for sure. So. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, I guess you kind of have to. I like to look um, professional sometimes, Dave. So, okay. <laughs> you know what's going to happen when I clean up, when I dress up one night? I'm going to come to you, do the whole men in black line, right? You know, just me and you, I make this look good. <laughs> I mean, you could try that. You could try that. I don't know if I'd agree. Um, Glenn, uh, so if you guys don't know, Marino. I think that's how you say it. Merino wool um, clothing. Most of the time, Merino wool, Merino wool is like a base layer um, that you can get. I don't know um, that I'm really going to bring much base layers Mm. for this cruise. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Um, Like I said, the only day that I think it's really going to be cold is that day that we get up into the glacier. um, Right. For our one excursion. Other than that, I think we're going to be kind of moving and doing stuff that like, I'll be able to get away with, if I need to, my down jacket, my my puffy jacket and shorts with like my hiking boots and like socks or something like that or pants. But I mean, God, um, you're wearing pa- oh, pants and socks like we were worried about that. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, so, mer- well, Marino <laughs> wool, I think, might be a little bit over the top, but maybe not. So yeah. here's what one thing I've learned from watching all these videos that I've been watching the last couple of weeks. Pack wool socks, not just your, your oh, yes. normal. 100%. Uh, white socks pack wool socks that you know c- can warm your feet yep and one thing i'll say too pack two pair of socks per day because changing socks can actually help you with temperature and and yeah. stuff like that as well yeah th- thermal regulation uh regulating so it, it does make a difference um try to avoid cotton socks actually um because cotton especially if it gets wet um will a- actually like pulls heat away from the body um and wool does not act as much that way. So, Chris said, guys, guys, it won't be that cold unless you're hiking. Yeah. And guess what? And you pack for it to be warm, and we're going to get there, and it'll be freezing. Right, so, exactly. Yeah, so you, you got packed for all weather. Yeah. Like, I'm pra- packing more cold than I am, like, for a hot. Um, yeah. Like, I'm bringing maybe two pairs of shorts, and that's pretty I- much – Oh, for the back end when we hit into LA, obviously yeah, yeah. I can't I can't wear shorts on Saturday, but why not? Why? I, can't, <laughs> I can't. I'm not allowed to. Uh, why? Boy. I'm not allowed to. Talk, talk to us, Matt. Why? Um, <laughs> I have. Anyways, I have plans. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, let's talk about. So we've talked about. I think kind of like some of the basic essentials, right? Is there anything? that because you both have done cruises before is there anything that you're bringing out of the ordinary for this cruise because it's alaska jackets that that, that you i mean i think we kind of covered that but maybe not i mean i guess that could work right um i mean i I am gonna i I am gonna stow a winter hat and a pair of gloves just out of the way like in the bag somewhere just am i gonna use it maybe i am maybe i'm not but yeah, I know in the long run, in the big picture, it's like I'll eventually use them when I get back here. You know, that's not a bad idea. I might need to 
a toboggan is the thing that you ride on. I don't know what you call a winter hat in the north, but I call it a toboggan. Um, oh, uh, I'll the probably hell? have to order one of those for. I don't. Know. Toboggan goes on your head. Sure. Okay. But. <laughs> But right. I, I, I'll, I'll probably have to buy one of those because I don't normally wear one, and, and so I don't. Right, you would, yeah. You, from what you, you would definitely wouldn't need one. I'll send yeah. you the link to the one I bought on Amazon. It came like as a gloves, a hat, and I even think it came with a scarf. Do you know what a scarf is? Yes, I. Okay, I, hey, I'm I wear just making one of those sure. As an accessory, it doesn't yes. have a different name. Or... <laughs> um, I so I see every I see a couple of people saying binoculars um, for this cruise. So I know for me in particular. Um, I've, I rented a lens that I don't own because they're expensive to just go out and buy. But, uh, I did rent a pretty large lens and I'm really thinking I'm underestimating the length of how big this lens is going to be once I pick it up. But, um, it's Alaska. And I mean, you know, when you do some of these excursions, especially the whale watching ones, you're not guaranteed to see a whale right next to the ship. Yeah. It's so, not like a, it's not like a dolphin cruise. Right. I mean, like. When they say you're guaranteed to see a whale, that whale could be 300 yards off the side of the ship. And I mean, like, yeah. you got to see one. So I know a lot of people are saying binoculars. If you're obviously into photography or you want to get into photography, you need a bigger lens. So I rented a 200 to 600 millimeter lens, wow. um, which is it's pretty big. So I'm just gonna, I'm just going to steal your photos when you put it up into the Go Go Getaways. Um... Yep. So, server oh right yeah. <laughs> hey so chris brings a great point that i don't i think a lot of people don't think about sleep mask it'll be light almost all the time uh yep. for those chris if you've been on a cruise before uh are the curtains in the the state rooms are they blackout because i know that they're really not on normal cruises uh so do they well and and that's what that i was to account that's what i was just going to ask it might be different on each cruise line um mm. i would hope that because ovation is made to be in the cold water and they spend most of their time in alaska hopefully those curtains they prepare for that a little are bit. are made that way um but uh, i think i think one thing though that i will mention that you kind of skipped over there dave which isn't necessarily as important or as uh, especially to this alaska cruise but if you've done a lot of disney cruises and you're breaking away from disney and you're trying something new carnival royal caribbean you're going to be really disappointed when you go back to your room and you want yeah. to watch something because you don't have that amazing library of Disney, the Disney catalog of everything to watch. You're going to have like basic television channels and not a good way to surf through them. Like you can pay to watch the movies or um, what Chris does is because he's a computer geek. Um, he actually has a, he says a full computer, but, Probably a laptop. It's, it, it's really no. It's really it's like it's like maybe like this big. You know, it's not big. It's a small small a computer. hard drive. Um, well, it's a computer though. A hard okay. drive's slightly different, but it is a computer. But basically, um, he puts movies and stuff on that, and then connects it to the TV. So if you you're go. interested, there are some things that you can find uh, online. Um, I don't know if Chris Chris has like a YouTube channel that he occasionally posts to. I don't know if you ever made one, Chris. Might be good if you haven't to, to do something like that, but um, it is an option. So because I think Chris, I if, think if it's legal, it, it is. I mean, post the, the website part. that we could do that for the most part. Um, and um, can I, I download it to my iPad? That's a question. Well, another thing some people do is they'll bring Fire Sticks, Amazon right. Fire Sticks, mm -hmm. and they'll use those too. So that's I don't plan idea. on hanging out in my room except on my balcony with a hot cocoa with Bailey's in it and watching. You world. say that. No, well, that's um, well, you don't Paige, trust me that I'm gonna have hot cocoa with Bailey's. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, Paige, there is uh, a library on the ship. I'm almost like I'm almost positive. Uh pretty much every ship besides Disney, I think, has a library on board. Even Disney so, now has a library. Do, do they I have one Disney on board does now? too? Yeah. Do they? Yeah. So yeah. Chris, I agree with you, sir. You'll be in your room way more than you think. It's true. Probably will be. It's true. So let me ask you this. I, I know nobody on our cruise is doing it, but I was thinking about this. You know, the ovation has the virtual balconies for the inside state rooms. If you have a virtual balcony, do you would you set up a chair right in front of your virtual balcony <laughs> with a hot go-go? In I the mean, you could, right? Why in not? The, 
<laughs> Dave, that's what you do like after like late at night after a few beverages out with <laughs> yeah. the bionic bar with their on the gang, and you just turn it and just take in your trip. Oh, right. Man. That's totally what I would do. I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna hang on my balcony. I bought because I'm weird. I bought the Alaskan Royal Caribbean Ovation of the Seas blanket that <laughs> for like 20 bucks. Um which I have no idea how I'm going to get home with my packing skills. Uh, and I'm just going to, I'm, I'm just going to hang, <laughs> hang out on the balcony. So um, for those of us looking for Matt, you won't find him. Yeah. Right. Hopefully, hopefully fingers <laughs> crossed. And I know this is the one thing that Dave and I, like we've talked about this offline and we really haven't talked about it. It's like, we obviously both have um, Royal up bids in. Yeah. Um, I ain't got mine in yet. Yeah, I I never got an email for it. So yeah, we're 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 both hopefully hopeful for something. I don't think it's going to happen, but I'm going to ask when we check in see if there's anything they can do for us. Do, what you need to do, Fingers Josh, crossed. is be like, hey, do you know who we are? I would, I would never <laughs> as ever. they walk if they walk them right off the ship. Ever say that? <laughs> ever? I I would these, never say that. These 42 people we brought on the ship. <laughs> oh my gosh! No way. Doesn't matter. Never but, jo- the Josh, what I what I would recommend if if the if the Royal Art program is something you're interested in, just go to their website and type in your your name and your um your uh, reservation number. Because mm-hmm. I never got an email either. I just went. Oh, okay. And then it will either let you in or it won't let you in. Right. All right. Maybe I'll do that. Um, just look. make sure to not bid on the um the two bedroom suite. That's mine. Okay, I'll make sure to, I'll make sure to put in a good bid for that one. <laughs> I think everything's. I, I I don't think anybody's getting a royal up on our, on our. I ship. think the ship is almost. I mean, I'm pretty sure that it is almost sold out. Um, Paige, who uh, has come in a few times, right? She was one of the the last uh, people to kind of join the group, and uh, they had almost nothing. Like, I mean, it was very limited as far as what could be picked from. So, right. and the thing about uh, it is with the royal up program, it's like from everything I've been reading about it in the Facebook groups, you might actually be on the ship and then you right. get upgraded because someone might pop a positive. Somebody yep. might not show up. Somebody might miss their flight to get there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we no. are so doing that. Val. No. No. We are so no. doing that. <laughs> uh, Chris nope. is talking more about his, his setup. He says, can't stress the universal remote enough though. All yep. research shows that you can access the back of the TV for an HDMI, but the remote provided won't allow you to change inputs, uh, causing that button is missing because that button is yep. missing. Yep. So, yeah, get a universal remote. That's like a standard thing now. Like even if you go to a hotel, you if they've removed any way for you to like change the input, which is kind of dumb. So, yeah. hey, hey, Chris, um, just just something off the top of my head. Anyway, like I see a lot of our people that are in the cruise on our cruise that are in this chat. Is there any way you could go on the, our Facebook page, the the Alaskan page and put some of this information in there? That would be much appreciated. Cause I'm going to forget. I'll remind you. Don't worry. (laughs) I don't ever forget. It's all right here. Uh, Dave, obviously we've talked shoes. We've talked jackets. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We got, we got to go to your number one thing. How many hats are you bringing? Oh boy! So that's a tough one. Uh, I I am definitely going to wear my Seattle Mariners hat flying into Seattle. Um, are you I'm, get? I'm, do, do you have like the old the S or do you got the old school M with the pitchfork? I've got the 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 Triton Mariner. Okay, so gotcha. the Triton with him. I'll my my uh, preference is if I buy a hat, it's usually going to be an old school hat. Um, Smart. When when we're in LA, I'll be picking up a uh, an Angels hat. Just because I try to buy a hat of a city I'm, I'm in, I've already got a Dodgers hat, so I need to get an Angels hat. Especially since the minor league team here in town is the Angels Double A affiliate, so I probably right. need that. Um, I'm going to wear my Braves hat just because when we're in Los Angeles, we beat the Dodgers to get to the World Series last year. So I'm totally doing that. Do you, do you understand that like, you're still like about 40 minutes from LA when we're I in Orange that. County? I'm just saying, yes, but it's nobody, just, nobody's going to care. I know, but it's just my thing. Okay. Um, I, I definitely got to wear. I, I have to bring an Alabama hat, and then I have to bring a hat that I work that I'm going to work out in, uh, because I, I have to wear a hat when I work out too. So that's four or five hats. Hmm. 
plus Matt. my toboggan that I call it. <laughs> Matt, what about you? Um, this black one that I always wear, my Marucci baseball company. Uh, probably bring both my Go Go Getaways hats hmm. and maybe my Savannah Bananas hat. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Josh, you probably have that one hat, right? I, I have. Uh, I have no idea what I'm going to take yet. So, well, are, you got to you got to take a Go Go Getaways one. No, to. I'll de- I'll definitely have uh, one of those to take with me. But um, as far as that, as far as like the rest of the stuff goes, um, I actually might take some of the hats that I got from uh or some of the hats i got last year when we were in california so okay. um they're just they're good hats that i haven't really worn that much because i don't really have a reason to really wear them except for um you guys have probably seen me wear it a lot but or maybe not so we haven't posted that many videos but your um, straw I've, hat my straw hat <laughs> oh like no not that straw hat i won't oh bring God. that that's like that's like for the Caribbean Bahama cruise. Yeah, my I just found mine. Oh. Mine gets destroyed, so I got to get a new one before yeah. I go to go on the wish. No, no, I've got like a black one with like a little bit of camo, and it has like a a leather, um, uh, basically like the the name of the place, which was the the grand grandfather tree. Is that where we were at, or whatever? Uh, but it's a pretty cool hat, so yeah. I, I'll probably bring that, and then a couple other things. But and I'll probably and I'm it's like Dave's talking about buying like game hats and. Disney. I will definitely buy. I'll, if, if I'm I probably going to buy. I like. I'm yeah. going to buy probably at least two or three in Alaska because I'll yep, probably yeah. buy one from maybe both breweries, the distillery. Yep. Um, depending on how cool the hat is at the Red Onion Saloon, that might be. You know, and, and it's weird. And I'm a hat purist, but you'll find out that really the only hats I wear are Major League and. Um, college i i I don't buy hats like that either what what is what is what is this hat purist what does that mean what do you you have to take a a test no i I, you you only buy like mlb yeah like i I buy new era or really my college hats are new era or nike yeah, man, and, and so, I was gonna get you a gold getaways hat. Nope, guess no, I don't I'll have to wear. Bring that I now. will wear a gold no, no, getaways no, no, hat. No, nope, nope, Matt, don't nope, don't nope. waste it on him. You, don't waste it on him. Nope. he won't wear it. You, are you gonna wear the hoodie that you get? Or you yes, just... I will wear the hoodie. Okay, <laughs> I will wear it with pride. <laughs> I will say, uh, Dave, I feel like I have to mention this to you that while wearing any type of gold getaways attire, oh, yeah. you behave. You know, behave. <laughs> really. <laughs> really, Josh? <laughs> Especially when we hit our uh, bar crawl night, well, which will I, probably be a couple nights. Actually, well, then yeah. then the go go getaway stuff goes away for that night, and it's oh, just yeah. you're just Dave, and I'm just oh mad. wow wow look at Paige. Paige is saying everybody should get a go go getaway set. I kind of like that idea. Um, Matt, can you get those mass produced here in like the next five days? Obviously not. Um, can mine no. be fitted? Can um, I get a no, fitted they're they're all trucker hats. I okay, would come on. My one of the teachers. The only people, the only person at. here who gets to make special requests is me. All right. That's yes, and, you're and the jo- owner of and the jo- company. Well, and Josh got his T-shirts. How long did those shirts take right. to make? Like ten minutes, fifteen minutes? I don't, I don't know. However long it took you. I don't know. I don't know. You asked. I, I sent then... you the thing, and you're like, here they are. I was like, oh man, holy cow! Yeah. That's great. We, we we mass produce T-shirts out of the basement. I was gonna say, oh, my yes, wife man. can make T-shirts too. So if you need any T-shirts. You know, oh. she made Josh a jacket. So. You, know, I, you know, Dave, enough. you know what, Dave? Uh, see, I did this thing where I posted on Instagram about it. Uh-huh. And Matt had asked me about it after that. So that's probably why Matt knew about it and you didn't. So Because I didn't get on Instagram for the last couple you, of days? Because you didn't see it. So. I'm sorry. <laughs> I like it, Val. That doesn't oh, surprise I like me. It, I like it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, all right. So any last words for packing? Um, what do we got? A- A- Ashley just sent me a text message, and she's actually coming with her husband on this trip. Um, oh, that'll she- be nice. Nice to see Mark again. F- um, fifty. P- <laughs> she's scared that her luggage is going to be too heavy, <laughs> <laughs> and she just had to go buy a luggage scale on Amazon. <laughs> so here's my fear about that. So we're flying first class out. Sorry, but we're not flying first class back. I've made the mistake. I should have done normal class out and first class back because it yeah, never probably. fails. My suitcase is heavier coming back than it is yeah. going out. Yeah. yeah. But we established like our our third suitcase is going to be mostly shoes. 
So I'm yeah. going to have a, a decent amount of space in that one. And, and like we talked about before we went on the air, Dave, watching that video that we watched today, mm -hmm. I'm going to take advantage of them doing that that first run laundry for me, fill up that yeah. bag for like, I think it was like 35 bucks. Not Obviously not the cheapest thing in the world, but it's real okay. easy to just kind of have them do the laundry, take the bag. Bam. Right. Yeah. Um, so here's another trip, uh, another tip from that couple that Matt and I found on YouTube that Josh needs to watch now. Um, Send me the link. I'll, I'll take yeah. a look. When you're packing your shoes, pack them in your carry-on or your suitcase because that's something that takes up the most where, amount. Where else would you pack them? Or your carry-on or your, your bag that's your, your personal item okay. uh, because that's what takes up the most amount of space in your suitcase. And you can you can take a hundred pound bag as a carry on. They never weigh that. That's not true. Oh, really? That is not true. They there are times when they will weigh carry on bags. So just be aware of that. Um, oh, okay. Yes, that there are times that they will weigh they will weigh those. Um, uh, it could happen. It's very rare that it does, but it certainly could happen. Um, so be aware of that. Uh, but I'll add. I don't know if they talked about this, Dave, but. Um, something else that you can do that kind of saves a little bit of space, maybe not a ton of space, is stuff your shoes yeah. with yes. socks yep. or yep. underwear or something like that. So, yep. you know, fill every little bit of space you can. Every just, nook and cranny. I just think it's almost here. Like, we've been waiting for this forever, and now it's, it's like, Josh, you're one week away from being in Seattle. And then that's, yeah, like, pretty much there. I'm a week tomorrow, and then Dave comes in the day after. I'm just so excited. I'm so excited. This has been, you know, it's been postponed for so long and you know, now it's finally like it's almost here. So oh. 10 days from now, we'll be at sea. Yeah. What, did I, what did I have it at 244 hours when I posted it on my Facebook page yesterday. So yeah. now we're a little oh bit lower gosh. than that. Yeah, no, no, yeah. I'm not. I'm not counting. No, no, no. Who's no. counting? How many minutes, Matt? How many minutes? I, I didn't do no. that one. I just tried to get people's attention. Um. Well, I will say that while this may have not been the best, most educational podcast of, of what we're packing for the ship, I think we will have a much better episode after we get back and we do yeah. a what we what we wore or what we used, you know, what versus we what we yeah, versus right. what we brought and everything else, and do a good comparison because I think um, again it is it's it's one of these cruises that's really difficult to kind of plan for because right. you really have a season um that the weather can vary so greatly so yep. i think that's the it, fun it's, part. it's the reverse packing for florida reverse yeah, yeah because in florida it's going to be hot or rainy yep and yeah. alaska no it's <laughs> extremely cold warm or rainy <laughs> yep so um anything else to add boys i think that is about it yeah i think that's all i'm um, just getting getting, men getting mentally prepared for the seattle cruise port which i hear is a blast yes excellent a bl show up I, about an hour before you oh, we just don't don't no. it's it's yeah it's fun it's wicked fun that's what i hear so before matt signs us off just a reminder there will be no podcast next week because we will all be getting ready to go to Alaska or Seattle. Uh, we'll be in then, Seattle. <laughs> yeah. We are, Matt and I are going to attempt to do a show uh, and have ready to go for, I don't know how we're going to do that, but we'll figure out how to do a, a show kind of in the bag to maybe post. It'll just probably be on the YouTube channels. It won't be yeah, on Facebook. YouTube and Facebook. Um, and then the three of us are going to attempt to do a show in the port, but probably we'll won't. Try. We'll try. We'll see what happens. Josh has Never great, know. great luck with internet on. Cruise that's Cruise. that's gonna that's gonna be on like a last minute. Like, bam, here we are. That's yeah, yeah. Um, and there, there'll be no warning. You'll just see Golgal Getaways is live. Just pretty much stay up to date with the Golgal Getaways Instagram. That will probably be the most accurate. Yep, up yep. to date like if we go and decide to go live if we can go live um and then we're kicking back as the threesome what we call ourselves the travel pack is that what you named the us travel Dave? pack yeah the travel the tra pack the travel pack not a fanny pack we're a travel pack yeah all right um we are coming back 
live the 27th. We're going to go Wednesday that week due to the fact that I don't fly in until Tuesday night. And we can give all three of our opinions on all portions of the trip since pretty much all of us are taking all pretty much all three legs of the trip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's impressive. I know. Yeah. Almost like we planned it that way. <laughs> Almost. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, so we'll go back nine o'clock on that twenty seventh, and we'll actually hit on the stuff that Josh talked about of like, what did I bring that I didn't need, and what didn't what I bring I that know? I did need? Right. Yeah, sure. So make sure to like and subscribe to the Go Get Getaways Facebook page. All the sub channels off of that. We had a lot of people blitzing out the sub channels the other day. I was impressed. I know. Um, Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe. Hit that bell. Give a thumbs up. Give a thumbs up to this video. Um, Instagram, TikTok. Probably going to be a lot of TikToks. Like I think there, there, if, there will if, actually be quite a bit of content that comes out of this. Is yeah. Taylor going to make us dance? No, I, I no. want to say, and I don't remember Good. this, and I'm going to have to reach out to Taylor. I think I promised that I would be in a TikTok video over last year for this. I, I don't remember. I think I, think, I don't think know so. she's going to hold me to it. You shouldn't oh, have even brought it up, Matt. No, because the worst about it, the thing about it is like she's gonna bring it up like last minute. I, I need to be prepared for these things. I'm a planner, it's the agent thing in me. Yeah. So I need to like we'll days see. to mentally prepare for like we'll give you 60 seconds. A, a, a broken ankle. You've got uh, a minute and a half. <laughs> we'll um, do it live. Yeah, so a lot of the stuff for the Alaska cruise is gonna be on TikTok, it's gonna be on our Instagram. Uh Dave, throw up your email. Oh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, oh. Boom. Close it out, Dave. There we right go. There. Dave at GoGalGetaways.com. Bam. And man is at GoGalGetaways.com. If you're interested in the med Mediterranean. Mediterranean. Mine's on there somewhere. Josh Rippy at GoGalGetaways.com. Other than that, Josh, I know we can't say much, but have a wonderful trip. Thank you very much. I have can't fun. wait. I am excited and stressed. So. Don't get sick. Oh, please, Dave. Knock on wood. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> no, I'm knocking. We, we, we don't. We don't. We don't say that word. Um, right. But other than that, we'll see everybody in two weeks. Not yeah. live. Live in a couple weeks, maybe. Yeah, we'll, so. we'll just just stay updated on Instagram and Facebook, um, Instagram and TikTok, and you'll know when we're coming live. Yeah. Till then, we're off the plane to the next vacation. See you, everybody. Bye. Bye.